Hi guys, it has been a very long time since I have posted on here. Um, so I decided to make an update for you guys since it's been so long and I'm sure you could tell by the title, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I am about 37 weeks right now, super excited, pregnant with a baby girl and just overjoyed. Um, I have some notes on here that I will go through. So first off, I will start with my starting weight, pre-pregnancy weight. I was 124 and I found out at five weeks, um, May 31st, that I was pregnant and I woke up my husband at 6.30 in the morning to tell him because I could not wait. I didn't do a cute little announcement thing for him. I really wish I would have. But I was super excited and just wanted to let him know because we've been wanting a baby for a while, so I just was really excited. Um, we ended up telling my mother-in-law first, the day we found out, um, and then I wanted to tell my mom also, but I wanted to tell her in person, and I didn't want to do it over the phone because this is her first grandbaby. So I knew I was going to visit her in about two weeks, so I waited to tell her in person and maybe we could do a little video with her because um, she's going to be here next week and we could see her reaction and everything. Um, and then we told our immediate family, the rest of our immediate family on Father's Day, so sometime in June, and then we announced it to everybody on July 23rd, which was Chris's birthday, and that's our 13 week. Um, so for the first trimester, the first symptom I noticed was my breasts. <laughs> they were really, really, they were getting swollen and sensitive, like I noticed pretty early, like a week before I found out, maybe even sooner than that. Um, and I know you're supposed to kind of feel that when you're about to start your period, but I normally don't, so I just thought that was kind of weird. And then I started feeling just slightly nauseous around the same time. Nothing too big, like I wasn't gonna throw up, but just slightly nauseous. And then we ended up going hiking on the 30th of May, so the day before we found out. Um, that was also the day I was supposed to start my period. Um, we went hiking and within like three minutes, I literally thought I was going to throw up. I've never felt so sick in my life um, from working out, which is super weird because I don't normally get like that. So we were both like, mm, maybe, maybe there's something there. <laughs> um, so I took a pregnancy te test the next morning and it was positive and I, I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. We were both really excited, obviously. Um, we've been wanting a baby. We've been okay with having a baby for like a year and a half. The first little bit of our, of our marriage, we didn't want a baby yet. Um, we were preventing it and I was taking birth control and everything because we just weren't ready. Um, I've always wanted to be a mom, but I knew I just wanted to wait a little bit before we had a baby. Um, and then at six weeks, so I found it at five weeks, at six weeks is when I started consistently feeling nauseous. So I guess that's when my morning sickness started. Um, I'd get nauseous, I don't know, it just felt funny in my stomach all the time almost. Sense would totally bring it up for me. Um, and then at week eight to the day is the day I started throwing up. <laughs> And then I didn't stop till week 13. I threw up multiple times a day. I ended up losing a lot of weight. I went down to 112. And remember I started at 124. So I lost over 10 pounds in like three weeks <laughs> um, from not eating and drinking. And I ended up going to the hospital because I got dehydrated and just, I felt like crap constantly. But week 13, yet again to the day, I have not thrown up since then. Um, and then around week 10 is when I felt her move for the first time. Um, it just felt like 
just slight, not flutterings, it honestly just felt like light pokes from the inside in my uterus area. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure if it was her at first, um, but then later on when I for sure knew it was her, I could look back and totally it was her, like it was her moving. Um, second trimester, like I said, 13 weeks was the end of my morning sickness completely. Um, I've gotten nauseous here and there since then, but nothing like bad at all. I haven't even came close to throwing up since then. Um, week 20, we got our ultrasound, found out it was a girl, and then we also found out that I had a low-lying placenta. Um, so the placenta is what gives baby nutrients and stuff, and it's attached to the uterus wall. And we don't want it super low because then it will risk detaching or coming out first which puts me and the baby at risk. So if it's super low or covering the cervix, which is where the baby comes out, you could possibly have a C-section. Well, it's likely that you'll have a C-section if it's really, really low or covering it. But luckily mine was 1.5 centimeters away and the recommended like safe zone or whatever is like 2.5. And so we made a, an appointment to get another ultrasound at 28 weeks. So I got that, came back, and it stretched up, like grew with my uterus, and it was over five centimeters away, so I'm in the clear, so that's good. And it's probably stretched even more since then. <laughs> um, I, for my second trimester, nonstop ate once I started feeling better. Um, like I gained a lot of weight my second trimester, like a ridiculous amount. Like between each appointment, I was gaining about 10 pounds. So um, that was a lot for, for, for a couple appointments. <laughs> um, I changed my eating habits a little bit because I went all sweet right away. That's all I ate was sweets and I tried to limit my sweets. That helped a lot, made me feel healthier, not as like I was gonna gain like 50 pounds throughout this pregnancy <laughs> um, and I just started feeling amazing during my second trimester like so much energy and in a good mood all the time I feel like my hormones were pretty like average like I don't feel like I got crazy <laughs> um, and then third trimester which is what I am in right now I've been craving cheeseburgers like crazy. Um, somebody suggested it's probably be because I am anemic in pregnancy, so I'm low on iron. So, and I guess red meat has iron in it, so that's probably why I've been craving it. And then um, I'm ridiculously uncomfortable. I've been uncomfortable throughout this whole third trimester. Like the instant I started getting a belly, I started getting uncomfortable. Um, I can't sleep comfortably. I wake up multiple times a night just from uncomfort and also having to pee like five million times because I think she's already dropped. Um, so she's sitting even more on my bladder and there's like pressure down there. And I've been feeling Braxton Hicks already. So my uterus, I feel it can like contract and get tight and slightly painful. Um, and she just nonstop moves. So that makes it a little bit uncomfortable. I can see my belly like rolling sometimes. It's, it's crazy. And then my current weight right now is about 154. So I've gained about 30 pounds throughout this whole pregnancy, which is average for my stature. I think it's 25 to 35 pounds is what they recommend you gaining. Um, so I'm doing good. <laughs> um, but yes, that is kind of my update throughout my trimesters. And let me show you my belly. <laughs> So this is my belly. It's pretty big. I still feel like I'm kind of small compared to a lot of people, but I feel monstrous. Um, I have the line down here and then my belly button's like disappearing. I luckily only have a couple stretch marks on the sides. 
but that is my belly and I will insert a couple pictures well you probably already saw them throughout this of like pictures you know or I'll do maybe at the end I'm not sure you'll see where I put them <laughs> um, just of the pregnancy of different belly shots of the announcement pictures and stuff and yeah so that is it for now I'm going to try to make a couple more videos um, I really want to pump out some good footage for you guys and good content because I just love watching this kind of content and I think it'd be really fun to make it and just record her life my life I know I'm really close to giving birth um, so probably won't be very many pregnancy videos but I'll do some updates afterwards and like labor stories and everything for you guys and just show her and show her grow up and give tips because um, I don't know I like watching them and thought it'd be fun to make them for other people or myself I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this but I thought it'd be fun so um, thank you for watching and um, subscribe if you want to see more you don't have to but whatever <laughs> and I will talk to you guys soon bye